Hi, um, welcome to Wednesday, April 14th video. This is what we're going to be doing today in class in case you missed it or you need to see it again. So we are now in unit two, up to green folder. You click on that. We're in week two and today is Wednesday. And you'll see the item there that says unit two work to complete. So if you're missing work from unit two, which is under the term four grade, so your term four grade, you would have to change the marking period to see that. Um, then you've got some work to do and most students are missing work. So to help you with that, you click, you open this up and you'll notice the list of items there. There's items from last week's Thursday folder and items from last week's Friday folder that you need to complete. Let's start in the Thursday folder. So you'll notice that there are multiple things here, but the main item that, or the main thing you need to do is use the Earth Sphere Review Exploration, either the interactive or the PDF version, to take this exit ticket. I would recommend using the interactive version first, but if that doesn't work, use the PDF. Okay, so to get started, what you'll do is you'll click on this link, and you'll click on this link, and it'll take you to an interactive Exploration. Welcome to Earth's, Earth's Spheres, Spheres, an online, an online science, science tutorial, tutorial for students, for students in, sixth in the sixth grade. grade. Now remember, this is a review of things you probably covered in middle school. So you're going to go through this exploration, and some of it has information, and some of it are practice questions. As you're going through this information, if you need to go back, you click the back button. If you need to go forward, you click the next. You will also be taking, while you go through this, go back to our Thursday folder, this assessment. So the questions in this assessment match either the information you see in the exploration or the practice question from the exploration. For example, this question is from section two. So section two, that's this one here. By the, By end, the of end of this tutorial, tutorial you, should you should be... So you'll watch the information in this section two to answer this question. Able to, Able to define, define geosphere, geosphere, biosphere, biosphere, biosphere. Earth has, Earth has, many, has many factors, factors that, contribute. that contribute to... The next question Question two is from section three. See, so it says section three. So again, you'll use the information here. Okay, so you're going to use this to answer the exit ticket. And this is, the exit ticket is graded. So that's Thursday. Let's go back. For Friday, there are two items. The first item is the water and rock cycle review. Click on that. Pop that open. What you're going to do is you're going to watch these two videos on the water cycle. And then you're going to use the terms in the, um, use these words to label the processes found along the arrows. For example, I'm going to make a copy to help you with this. The first arrow is pointing downward, and you'll notice that this looks like rain. So what is the process that corresponds to rain? Is it condensation, evaporation, runoff, transpiration, precipitation, accumulation, or collection? Well, the process that corresponds to rain is precipitation. So for arrow number one, I'm going to label that precipitation. And the way I will do that is underneath the picture, I will type that in. What about arrow number two? Arrow number two, you're seeing the water run down the mountain. So which one is that one? Well, we already used precipitation, so it cannot be that. 
But is it condensation, evaporation, runoff, transpiration, accumulation, or collection? Well, the water running down the hill is runoff. So for, for number two, I will select runoff. And you're going to do that for all of them. Okay, after you have finished labeling the arrows, then you're going to answer this question. What happens to water during the water cycle? You can highlight the answer you think is correct or write the answer on the side. Finally, for the rock cycle, you're again going to watch these videos and then use the information from the videos to help you label the three different types of rock. So is this rock formed from compression of sediments? Is it igneous, metamorphic, or sedimentary? You can type in your answer here. When you're done with that, you're going to now label the rock cycle. In this case, for the rock cycle, you're using these words here, metamorphic rock, igneous rock, sedimentary rock, magma, and sediment. What you want to do to label it is follow the arrows. For example, one, under one, it says molten material. And it comes, it's the process that um, follows melting inside the earth. So this rock melts inside the earth. What is it called when rock melts inside the earth? Is it metamorphic, igneous rock, sedimentary rock, magma, or sediment? Well, of course, the answer for that, molten material, so when rock melts inside the earth, is magma. So you're going to type that in. And you're going to do that for all the rest of them. So the next one says crystal, crystal, cooling and crystallizing. What happens when magma crystals or cool, uh, cools? Crystallize or cools. What type of rock is that? Is that metamorphic, igneous, sedimentary rock? Is it sediment? So you fill in the space there. When you're done with the rock cycle, the last thing you're going to do is you're going to answer this question. It says during the rock cycle, rocks are created and destroyed. You're going to put a star next to each process that creates rock, and you're going to underline any process that breaks down rock. So looking at cooling and crystallization, does that create rock when rock when it cools and crystallizes, or does that destroy or break down rock? If it creates rock, you put a star. And if it destroys rock, you underline it. So you have to decide what each process does. Okay, I hope you found this video helpful um, going through what you need to do. Oh, one last thing. The last thing that you need to do is, I forgot, you have one more item, is your homework assignment. So for the homework assignment, you have to upload a picture. And to help you with the homework assignment, you're going to follow the information or the examples on slides 11 through 12 from that folder. So as you can see in these slides, uh, 11, 12, and 13, I'm sorry, this tells you what you need to do for the homework. So you take a picture or find one online and then you need to identify the spheres in the picture and describe two examples of the sphere of spheres interacting. And so here are some examples. You can read through these slides to help you see the examples. Um, you only need one picture, but there are two examples here for you to follow. Here's example one, here's example two. All right, I hope you found this video helpful. Um, have a quality day.